Welcome to Losing the Plot, a show where we try and come up with the plot of a TV show or a film, and over the course of the video we slowly start to lose the plot. I'm joined today as always by Rich. Pleasure as always. Now let's have a look at what's on the board for today. So Compare the Markets have come to us, and asked us to make a comedy film, based on the adverts where they go, CompareTheMarket.com, CompareTheMeerCat.com. Simples. That's basically all we have to work with. Are you ready? I'm game, I'm game. Now, we were really surprised that this hasn't been major until we was talking the other day. And then yeah. <laughs> theorised that it might be because of the war in Ukraine. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's not the perfect yeah, it's, time. It's, it's held it up. Yeah, it's not the perfect time to like um, promote Russian characters. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah. When I was waiting for you to call, I was looking it up the history of Compare the Market Rate. And this business was basically failing before they went with Compare the Meerkat. Ooh, and now okay. it's the biggest, like, insurance thing online. But That's did, actually nuts. I did find this funny. In November 2020, Compare the Market was fined $17.9 million by the Competition and Markets Authority. Now, if you were Ooh. their lawyer, how tempted would you be to like call it the Competition and Meerkats Authority? <laughs> <laughs> You'd absolutely, like, be dying to do that. Like, Maybe that's, that's why we're miscon- not lawyers, though, because we'd just be like, oh, come on, I've got to use that meerkat joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd be looking to the jury as if they're the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so should we just introduce our two characters? Yes. We've got Alexander. So his bio reads, I am handsome and successful business cat and have many claws and many pies. <laughs> So basically, this film is going to be about exploring those pies. Okay. Despite being a talented singer, I chose to follow in the footsteps of my ancestors and take over the family business of Compare Meerkats. Can I... I'm reading this as well, by the way. Yeah. And um, I I have to admit, I'm very sad at your lack of using the groove voice (laughs) for Steve (laughs) Quill's. I am handsome and successful (laughs) business cat. (laughs) You noticed that I was translating there into English. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was kind of hoping yeah. you weren't reading it as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. Anyway, I feel like we've already got the basis of our story there, in that it's a we man do. who's always wanted to be a singer, but he has to follow his family business. Yeah, that's actually instantly... It's already there. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I have to uh, applaud already whoever wrote the copy for this site, because they created a little law in their head yeah. <laughs> of this family. Yeah. Um, and also, I noticed when I read the next one, it's written in the third person. So, like, Sergei is very old. So, does this mean this is Alexander <laughs> yeah. writing it for NBC? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll get to Sergei, our secondary main character, in a second. Um, but I do want to just say, Alexander, he's very Trump, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he, like, he's got the self aggrandite Like, he, he looks like he, he's got it. He's wearing a bathrobe with the letter A on it. <laughs> He's basically Biff from Back to the Future, who is Trump. Yeah, like, (laughs) he basically, so this is what will be the issue, like, do we, honestly, now that I made the Gru voice, I can't, I can't (laughs) disentangle this film from him being Gru, like, he is, he, he's like evil, he's like an evil business owner, and he wanted to always be a singer. Well, see, I I feel like we're going to have to lean into him being good-hearted, but in a bad situation. Yes, like, if he's... You know, if he's a Nepo baby. He's a Russian oligarch. Yeah. And then if he, if we go with the post-Ukraine plot where he's had all his <laughs> things taken away from him. Yeah. So but the idea we had for the film was he has all his assets seized <laughs> because... <laughs> <laughs> because he's, yeah, because... Because of the war. Yeah, because he has to deal with... Yeah, because if he's a Nepo baby and if he, uh, if he's following in the footsteps of his ancestors, he's, he's absolutely... It's going to be inherited wealth, isn't it? It's going to be like yeah, yeah. oligarch wealth. So yeah, he, he's a, yeah. I, I think that's a, automatically our plot there, and then they're like down and out wherever they are in America, maybe. And he's got to he's got to do the American dream and be a singer 
Um, well, where I was thinking was because this he seems very Trump like. Why don't we go with Trump's actual story? Which Trump wasn't ooh. the oldest child; he was the second oldest. But the oldest one decided not to go into the business industry. He decided to become a pilot, and he was shunned for it. Is this the equivalent of the royal family? Didn't one of them have the case? <laughs> yeah, Edward, and then Edward, Elizabeth, did, yeah. yeah, and then George yeah, stepped so basically up. Basically, that. Yeah. <laughs> Right, already I feel like we, we've hit it. I don't know where on the story circle we've hit. Um, Wait, so what's the story with the Trump? Uh, is he going to be the second eldest that he, he only took on the business because he, yeah, I, is that what I, it is? I figured that would help make him a bit more empathetic because yeah, he, and, he was yeah. raised thinking that this would never happen. And so would that mean he has a brother who, who, who abandoned the family and is doing good things in America and he has to meet up with this brother? Oh, he has to go crawl into him now? Yeah. Now all his yeah. assets have been frozen. <laughs> He's got to make so, it in America. Yeah, and th- it's like a, maybe it's a film of, bro- like, we got to reconcile their, f- like, brotherhood. He's already initially the Nepo baby CEO, the grind set, you know what I mean? So when the, when they are down and out, he goes, no problem, I make me a cat too. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just makes he makes a he makes another company called Compare the Meerkat to <laughs> the Squeakle. <one. laughs> yeah, the Squeakle. <one. laughs> no, no, but something like he, he he thinks it's dead easy. You just make another business, and then so he tries to do the Isn't business. That Michael again, Scott. Then, yeah, yeah, the Michael have Scott. No we call it the Alexander Orlov <laughs> Compare Company, maybe. <laughs> As a reference to the Michael Scott company, uh, and then I think I think this this singing thing will be the back up. Like he 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 cancels the business maybe, and then just he ends up having to just get a normal job. But then he realizes there's more to life than work and CEO stuff, and he he just wants to sing. Well, I don't know. This... Um, oh, we forgot to un- introduce our other character, Sergey. Oh yeah, who does IT. So we we <laughs> we need to see where he hacks something, uh... like where he's typing on a laptop furiously and he goes I'm in I'm thinking I am thinking it's got to be related to the yeah I am in sorry that's amazing <laughs> I'm thinking that like you have to hack in to the meerkat company or something uh, to get data to reveal that the company was always corrupt maybe this is like near the end when the, they're trying to take down big corporations or something you know what I mean so like when the assets are seized it only gets given to like the super rich in the west anyway who were also corrupt does that make sense <laughs> so this is an anti-Western movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like anti-capitalism because the okay, the yeah. core message at the end will be like uh, he 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 hates companies. I don't know. I'm being very. Um, it's all very simple at the moment, but we'll flesh it out once we once we get the circle down. Another thing I just want to mention real quick: we need the catchphrase on like posters and stuff. So we need Ooh. to say "simples" at least three times. <laughs> Well, obviously, when he goes, I am in, he says simples after this. That's, <laughs> that's just clearly one of them. <laughs> simples. Very easy. Or um, may- maybe Sergey says that, and Alexander is like, hey, that's my line. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's perfect. <laughs> Should we try and story circle real quick then? Yes. So, where does the movie start? Does it start in Russia, and then are they going to America? Um, That's a good point. Oh, wait, 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 we need to... Because they wouldn't have the assets free frozen, would they? If they were in uh, America. If they were in Russia. In so would it be like... Offshore maybe... assets, yeah. Oh, offshore, okay. Okay, maybe that's it. They have to go over to America, but when they're over there, like, Russia makes a deal or something and gives them, like, oh, gives well, America that m- company to... Maybe yeah. they went over to America because they didn't want to get involved. Like they didn't yeah, agree with it. Because we can't that's actually a thing. we can't have them agreeing with with the unjust war in Ukraine. <laughs> like No, no, so that's the uh, Nobody yeah, would invest in these characters. Ir- <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's a Tim Allen kick the dog. <laughs> like right yeah. then. The when you is they move to America to get away from Russia. Yeah. But then their assets are frozen. And also, maybe this is like we see at the very beginning. Alexander sees stuff like about singing and, and like exploring his identity more as like an artist. Yeah, that he, he would never he, really get to see what. Yeah, he's watching like American singers like Elvis and stuff. Yeah, like Sinatra. Yeah, it, he looks like someone who loves Sinatra, doesn't he? Or yeah. Like so we can have like a montage. Yeah, like he's that'd watch- be a nice scene. He's actually. watching them on the plane over. Yeah, I like the whiskey in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I love trying Sticking to do with the, the groove, groove voice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't even remember how he speaks now. I just have Gru in my head. Come um, on, girls! 
<laughs> so, um, what's their response when their assets are frozen? <laughs> Sorry, I just want to instantly went simples, but <laughs> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even work there, but I'd love that. <laughs> can, can we have can we have a scene where they go to like an American like store, like they go to Costco, and yeah. there's there's someone with like a tray, and Alexander goes, "Where are they?" And the person goes, "Samples." <laughs> Just <laughs> a little. Yeah. Bit. <laughs> um, the, do you mean samples? <laughs> I, I, I already I, felt I'd hate watching this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I figured out how do you know. So they're at this lavish restaurant, and they've ordered the most expensive thing, and they're treating the waiters horrible. Perfect. And then the, cow, the card bounces. Yep. And then they, f- they find out. And then maybe that night, it's like, what are we going to do? And then he's like, start business, simples. <laughs> well, maybe they have to pay back this restaurant. This could be like yeah. a start. So the, the base, maybe base camp is at the restaurant, maybe kind of thing. And he has to deal with this horrible work culture. Like being a waiter is terrible. Like having been one. Oh, so they have get... to take jobs as waiters to pay off this huge bill. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's it. And then this is when he gets in touch with his uh, brother, maybe? Like, after he's struggling. Yeah, yeah. Waiting. That's a bit like, bit, that'll probably be like, oh, I don't know. First act of stuff, I reckon, near the end. Okay, I, go on. I'd say, on. I'd say we we go search, or um, maybe search as something else, and then find is he goes to his brother, he humbles himself, and gets back in touch with him because he's in a desperate situation. Yeah. Yeah, okay, maybe the brother covers some of the costs, but not all of it. And then they have to get the job, but that gets them in touch with the brother. Well, I'd I'd say the restaurant just say either you wait tables or we call the police. So, yeah, but they have such a huge bill, like the job lasts for the entire. Like they keep having to come back and do another shift. Yeah, like they 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 just actually work there now because of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. So where where are they gonna search? How are they gonna? Try and get that money back, or are they gonna try and get that money back, or are they gonna try and make more money? I think, yeah, this is where I think like he has to think this is America, this is land of business. Like, um, he he, he like goes to open a job, he goes to open a business, it's like, what's the business idea? And he goes, um, like, they try and do insurance, but maybe the license has been revoked <laughs> because of the asset flip. So um, then, let's, oh, God. sorry, <laughs> um, what if like. They, they try and go into insurance, but the rest about the previous cases, and we do like a Forrest Gump situation, where it shows them throughout history, always back in the wrong, like, horse. <laughs> <laughs> yes! We see them, they give Stalin life insurance two days before he's found dead. <laughs> yeah. They give insurance to a bus company who are gonna go all throughout Germany like the day before the Berlin Wall goes up, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, maybe the final one is like the dad or oh, like going, ah, a grand name, the Titanic, that'll never fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, really, that's perfect. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like they don't, they don't, because compare the market doesn't like give you insurance, does it? It lets you see on it. Yeah, yeah. In. <laughs> yeah. So that the, they go, and then like the have to. So yeah, that is that the joke? Like halfway, like they have to stop giving in the insurance and just let people find different insurance so they're not culpable. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're successful. <laughs> <laughs> they're literally just middlemen. The more I think about it, it's like a shit. It's like the worst company ever. You're just making it more expensive for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, I love that Forrest Gump esque scene ending with the dad <laughs> going to the Titanic. <laughs> That'll never fail. It's just a big stamp, and it just says Titanic. <laughs> A grand name, that is. <laughs> oh, I see it's a bit of Greek with the Titans. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, maybe he can't get out of the idea of compare. <laughs> so he's like, what about compare the fast food? So you, you make an app. <laughs> Just like compare the fast food. You can't even buy it. It like links you to that website to buy the food. It like links you to you just eat or something. <laughs> so it's like, go to link points. <laughs> All his ideas are just compared. <laughs> he's, the one, he's just the worst businessman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, and then I think there's like probably like 20 minutes of them burning through different compared ideas while I'm working at like the waiter. And then the final one, they're just in the room and he goes, what about compare the compare? <laughs> <laughs> And the is like, we have no more runway. We need an idea. Oh. <laughs> compare the compare. <laughs> I was like, what are you comparing? He's, he's just so desperate. <laughs> just... Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, I love that. Right. <laughs> oh. Yeah, hey, so we, he, he's making apps. It's Sergey. Sergey's making yeah, apps. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> On <laughs> that, it's at the compare one where Sergey goes, "No, this is fucking dumb. We need an idea." <laughs> You're right. And then do we like? I think maybe his brother is like actually a, a small business owner. Yeah. What do you think? So he's actually a decent business owner, but like he's not in an unhealthy corporate. Yeah, and it'd, like, be, it'd be something world. like unique, like a business he was interested in. Yeah, maybe he makes. Like artisanal Etsy can't you know what I mean? Like he's actually being artistic and selling it, etc. <laughs> um maybe he makes those um ships that are in like glass bottles. <gasps> I actually like that. Yeah, that's that that seems something that's like a, a, someone from a really rich background would do. But like yeah, no, I like that. That's actually so Alexander walking round his, his store and he's he's just he's always holding two next to each other and he just <laughs> his, brother, his brother asked him why he keeps doing that. He just went, I compare. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's sick. Uh, okay, that's the scene. Right. That's the scene. Yeah. So he goes, he's like seeing all the bottles. Yeah. And then it just pans through a Titanic one. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, is that not a bad taste, my brother? <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe that would be a bit of character building, actually. Maybe there's a bunch of, like, failed insurance boats or something. <laughs> and it's just like the brother's been making them out of, like, spice. <laughs> The, do you remember that one that blocked the Panama Canal? Oh yeah, <laughs> during maybe COVID. that's the final one that like, <laughs> yeah, that would be such yeah, an ugly me. ship. Can the ship be the wrong way in the glass bottle? <laughs> <laughs> say, say, that's I, I actually tried to get it out before the Suez Canal <laughs> event, and now it just fits. <laughs> <laughs> we're at find what? so we've gone through the whole search thing where they're doing the apps and they've, now they're at find where he's gone to the brother right so he needs to take this opportunity now he now has to go into business with his brother <laughs> yeah. why would his brother want him <laughs> he's, he's a terrible Maybe business like, <laughs> there's gotta be some core like emotional bit where we see a scene with the brother I uh, don't know, you know, like, he he, t- he looks at, like, an old picture of them, and um, maybe he used to help him as a kid, like, do make his art and stuff, I don't know. Well, and then he feels like, oh, for fuck's sake, I, mean, I need to help me, brother. <laughs> I just realised, because the whole point is, he got left the business, didn't he? Alexander got left this business because the other brother left. Yeah. So maybe, like, um, he feels guilty about that, like, he's sort of, like, stunted him. So he's like, fine, I'll take you in. Yeah. Kind of it, stuff. Go on, what were you going to say? Um, well, if you look at, like, um, King Edward, when he stepped down from being king, then his niece Elizabeth had to step up to a role that, when she was a kid, she thought she'd never have to play. Yeah. And they always got along really well because of that. Oh, really? Yeah. She was, al- she was always really fond of him. Because she got all the power. <laughs> Like, well, thanks for giving me that. No, I th- I think it's just it was an understanding of the difficulty of um, being in power. Ah, so okay. Maybe it could be something like that. Like, yeah, like maybe this is the strength of Alexander's that he's like he is a bit of a he can uh, hold the crowd. For instance, he has been acting in these adverts. We referenced that, and he's like an actual creative, funny <laughs> person on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Which, yes. Which in this in in doing that we 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 canonize all of them, <laughs> we canonize all the adverts as if they actually happened. <laughs> oh man! But th- so that would mean we'd have to watch the adverts. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Well, yeah, this and so maybe that's it. He's like, 
he's a good he's a good salesman, but he's not a good ideas man. So that's where he gets him back. Like so, then he he starts marketing the oh meerkatting. <laughs> <laughs> he starts meerkatting his brother's business. Things get better and all that. Right, I, I like their idea, but how can he meerkat a, gla- a ship in glass bottles business? <laughs> <laughs> well, he must. He has to make it more showy, I think. He has to make it like, hmm, how, that's a good point. Because if he can, if he's a good enough businessman to make that shine, like, how does he do that? Maybe it's like, maybe... Can it involve Sergey hacking something? Yeah. Um. What website could you hack to advertise these glass bottles? A, a life insurance fucking website, because the only people I know have been... <laughs> 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 that was a brilliant joke. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even finish that joke. <laughs> that <was a> really <laughs> <good thing. laughs> Just, uh, yeah, because I was like, I think that's enough. <laughs> Um, you know maybe, what? Uh, maybe there's something there, especially because it's life insurance. Maybe they know the most popular life insurance websites. <laughs> oh, that's it. Here we go. Maybe, yeah, so maybe the hack can get the data of like... Oh, all customer information? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cambridge Analytica. <laughs> <laughs> life insurance website. They just lit- <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> That's even better because that means Alexander isn't a great like businessman. Yeah, he just he understands customers. Yeah, he understands data. That's it. He's just good at showmanship and like yeah, that's it. Like there's nothing material material about it, is there? <laughs> that's brilliant. By the way, that we got there off a joke you made about people oh, like, <laughs> only collecting like... them when they're, <laughs> they're close to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have thousands of customers. So he needs to return. So where was he at the start? So he was moving America to get away from Russia. Oh, ah, so, so me- now it needs to be Russia comes to him. Oh, that's that's interesting. So it'd be like he tried to get away from it all. Yeah, he, he tried to ignore his family history, but now it's coming back, and he needs to really address it. <laughs> he, he? He's arrested. <laughs> <laughs> That would be it, yeah, he's been arrested, because, like, yeah, yeah, like, it's a offense, essentially, like, a an illegal business, like, maybe it comes out that he has connections to, that would be, like, the, is this the middle act, by the way, is this, like, or near the end? This is very near the end, yeah, he's r- returned. Um, I was wondering if maybe he gets revealed to have some, like, shady dealings with Putin, essentially. Um, I, I, I think let's be as subtle as possible on that one. <laughs> Maybe it's just because his assets have been frozen, he's not meant to be doing business in America. Ah, so then he gets sent home? I don't know, because he's got to... I kind of feel like his journey has been about not only being in America, but embracing America. Because when he comes here, he thinks he's going to have millions and live differently to everyone else. Yeah. So what would you important. say return is? Russia returns to him. I think but, it has to be, he has to, he has to acknowledge what he's done. Or like, what, what he's been complicit in and something, his family heritage. So maybe that means he gives up his part in his brother's business and says, my brother's perfect, I am not, or something like that. There's like an emotional chord of like... I like it, yet, yeah, and that can be the change. Yeah. My brother is perfect. <laughs> I am not. It's simple. <laughs> oh yeah, we need a, a simple joke to end on. Um, you have to say something like, I reckon he says something actually genuinely sort of low-key wise, but then ends it with the simples. Or if he's asked like a really heavy question. Yeah. Like maybe the yeah. brother says, how did you do it? He's like, do what? He's like, how did you like bear that weight? How did you do what I could never do? He just goes, simples. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they do like we, a we smile need... to each other. Yes. So we need like the B plot all the way through this for them to start getting into singing more. So maybe yeah, yeah. As... Oh, so and by the way, maybe he creates a jingle for this like for this bottled oh, ship thing. Yep. Solid idea, yeah. Creates a jingle, gets more showy. He has, uh, he will obviously have connections and advertisements in America and stuff like that. Um, another um, one could be maybe one night when he's working at the restaurant, the singer's out and he has to like take over. <laughs> yes, and then oh, there we go. Now he just like works at the restaurant as a, like a singer for it at the very very oh, end. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Like, he has no business dealings, but he's happy. He's like finally actually happy, and maybe like the bar's shut. 
but he gets to like keep people. Yes, it's like him, Sergei's brother, and they have like a little stay behind, and then that's when the it's like finally him and his brother, and they have that emotional talk about the business, blah blah, blah and then they, he says that question, "How did you do it?" Just so we can envision it properly, can you do like a verse of a Sinatra song in the groove, please? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a, one sec. Let me get the Sinatra. <laughs> yeah. What's a song? The oh, my way. Yeah, go on. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that will be his, like that will be a song, won't it? Yep. Yeah, one from oh the my chorus, God. please, Rich. Wait, let me just turn the spotlight on. I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. Right. <laughs> right. That sounded terrible. <laughs> and. and you know what I hate? When this Come movie on. is made, it's going to sound even worse. <laughs> yeah! They're going to Alvin and the Chipmunks it, aren't they? <laughs> it's going to, like, be... <laughs> no, man. It's going to be so bad. What do we do when <laughs> this movie comes out and it's the exact same plot? <laughs> Down to the glass bottles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I, I can't wait for the scene where the comp- he's comparing the ships of... <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Compare! <laughs> Compare! Is that going to be it's the scene be... where everyone stands up and cheers like they did for when Andrew Garfield showed up in the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Or Einstein in the trailer for Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> they scream, let's go! <laughs> I compare. Honestly, I just can't wait for the the twenty minute montage with the go through apps for compare the compare. <laughs> it's gonna be perfect. Honestly, I think we've nailed that. <laughs> you know, you know, um, man. I've... Because I have such a good time, I just say at the end of all of these, I think we've nailed. It. <laughs> I think I'm... Honestly, though, like this and the previous one, we could fully write and bang out for the day. I reckon. I'm... I reckon. We... <laughs> <laughs> can, can, right, if we write like a scene or two for this, um, can you perform it with the group, please? Yeah, well, it's simple. Right, what do people need to do to get that to happen, Rich? At least, at least, at least a hundred likes, I reckon. <laughs> ten. I really want to do it. So we'll set up for ten. <laughs> yeah, five. Yeah. I'll do it for one, me. <laughs> Right, I let, just really want to do it. Let me just go and create 10 alt accounts. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, no, if we get a thousand, I'll do the whole album of Thank You, Thank You. <laughs> <laughs> so, why, why do they get punishment? <laughs> <laughs> because it's fun for me. Honestly, we've nailed that. <laughs> Cheers yeah. for that, Rich. No worries, I'm always here to help our advertising masters market their amazing <laughs> products and, and with class writing. And that was Simples. Simples! <laughs>